I'm Christopher Titus. And this is Armageddon Upright. Billionaires, bad luck and bubbles. Today, we're talking about how just because you can, doesn't mean you should. A British billionaire and a rich Indian businessman decided they wanted to go see the Titanic wreckage. Because what makes more sense than going to see a said-to-be unsinkable ship with the highest tech available in the world at the time, that ship sank and killed 1,500... Why don't we go see that in another ship run by a PlayStation controller? We run the whole thing with this game controller. <laughs> Come on! And just because you can't afford a quarter of a million dollars to take a little submarine ride, doesn't mean you should! <laughs> I wonder if they pass some homeless people in the limo on the way to the submarine. Oh, I would like to help you with a sandwich, but I've spent all my money on a submarine, John. <laughs> and I also uh, am going to take my son to see the graveyard of Leonardo DiCaprio. I don't have any extra money. I mean, is anyone surprised this went like this? You went to look at a sunken ship in a tube that sinks? What could possibly happen? Maybe dying in the sunken ship that you took to see the sunken ship. Ooh. <laughs> We here at The Update did some research. It turns out that in 2018, a former employee or a guy who got fired for asking questions of Ocean Gate Expedition, a submersible pilot named David Lockridge voiced concerns or said, what the fuck about the safety of the Titanic tour sub and filed a lawsuit against the company. And Lockridge, who was fired by the company, said in a court filing that the Titan would carry passengers as deep as 4,000 meters, even though that depth had never been reached in a sub of its type with a carbon fiber hull, which is fiberglass. According to Lockridge's claim, he learned that the vessel was built to withstand a certified pressure of 1,300 meters. So no problem, right? Yeah, let, let's risk it. Except for the fact that the Titanic is at the bottom of the Atlantic, 12,500 feet or 3,800 meters. Ocean Gate planned to take passengers to 4,000 meters. Now, I'm not a math whiz or even a math moron, but I know that 1,300 isn't 3,800. And 3,800 minus 1,300 equals dead billionaires. Tell me this isn't the world's best I told you so. Now. As of this update, we don't know if they are still alive, and we secretly hope they survive, honestly, just so we can mock the shit out of them. And thoughts and prayers. Then that's all I've got, thoughts and prayers, because I am not getting in the water like these morons. Because I'm not rich enough to be this stupid. When are we going to realize that you can be brilliant, but at one point there is a level of money that actually makes you an ignorant, arrogant asshole? <laughs> And I understand human nature and how we need to keep striving to go further, explore, create, discover. Going to Mars makes sense. Building a base on the moon. Okay. Pulling the quad backflip. Important stuff. If we don't push forward, we will go extinct or end up anal probe experience for aliens. So I get furthering humanity. To dive here. They could come from a nightmare. But I don't get putting hundreds of first responders' lives in danger or spending millions of dollars trying to rescue some unqualified, rich douchebags who agreed to ride in an untested, janky-ass tube steered by the same device used to play Mario Kart. You get that five people spent millions to go to the bottom of the ocean to look out a tiny window at a wreck and go, oh. Idiots. You could have just rented the movie. You could have seen the whole ship and Kate Winslet's boobs. I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. Doesn't that sound better? A fiberglass tube or Kate Winslet's boobs? It makes so much sense. Just sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip. 